Hey guys, so I'm one of the first people in the world to actually implement good old fashioned SEM and SEO, that's search engine marketing, search engine optimization. And the proof is just check out killersites.com. You can check out the traffic data there, check out how to build websites.com, killerphp.com, csstutorial.net. So I was able to build up several sites to this day get a couple of million page views every month and it's all through organic traffic i don't use paid traffic never use paid traffic never use paid search never use social in well in the context of building up those sites so people will always ask me over and over again how do you do what do you do what's the secret what's the key to seo sem well first let me deal with seo seo was developed in the late 90s because websites were built in such a way, a lot of times they were not search engine friendly, meaning the search engines had a hard time digging out information out of the sites. And that was really because of a couple of reasons. A, the sites weren't built properly, or they were built in the old school way, which I'll get into in a second. And B, the search engines weren't very sophisticated. So let's talk about the way the sites used to be built. They used to be built with uh, lots of images, and lots of code that did not describe what was going on in the page. Modern day web design, if you're taught in any good course, like my HTML, CSS, my web developer course, it teaches you modern day web development, of course, and web design. So essentially, your sites, if they're built using modern standards, they are automatically search engine optimized. They're automatically ready to go. In the old days, back in the 90s, a lot of sites weren't so they needed people to go in there to clean the code up to make it readable to the search engines, to make it so that the search engines could understand what was going on in the websites, in the web pages. Another thing that's happened since those times is that the search engines themselves have become much more sophisticated. They're much better at discerning what is actually going on in the site than they used to be. Now, once upon a time, people used to be into meta tags and... Uh, other gimmickry uh, to fool the engines, but that's all been worked out now. And my only advice to you is when you're building sites, A, build using modern techniques, which everybody should do these days, and B, you should write honestly in your pages. Don't try to write to uh, trick the search engines or to fool the bots. That's a mistake that a lot of people make because eventually the bots will figure you out and nail, your, nail you <laughs> for you trying to cheat them. The reason that I have these evergreen sites that have been popular for well over a decade now in that it's because the content is just written for humans. So you write for humans and that will go a long way to keeping your, your site's search engine optimized. In terms of SEM, search engine marketing, now there's all kinds of strategies that can go into that. But again, it comes down to writing really good content so that people will want to link to that content. In the last several years, the major search engines, well, Google's we need to care about, started really paying attention to what was going on in social. So the, uh, the focus had changed at that time, and it still changed, where the search engines are paying attention to what's a buzz at a particular moment in terms of a particular subject. So, if you had a site that was selling shoes and there was a lot of buzz about your shoe site on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter and I, don't know, I guess Google Plus, I don't know how many people use Google Plus, but anyway, Google now gives that a lot of weight, pays attention to that. So modern day SEM, search engine marketing, also includes a need to address the social, your social presence on the web. It's very important. So, yeah, there's so much more that can be talked about in terms of this subject. I'm just putting it out here to see what people think, see if they really care about this. And if you do, I might do more vlogs on it. Anyway, cheers, guys. You know what? I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into the holiday season.